Lake Oroville has experienced a significant decrease in water levels, now sitting 40 feet below its capacity since the start of summer when it was at full capacity, thanks to a series of heavy winter storms. These storms not only replenished the snowpack but also led to a consistent and often substantial influx of runoff into the lake. Earlier in the year, the California Department of Water Resources, responsible for overseeing Lake Oroville and the Oroville Dam, began releasing water from the reservoir's primary spillway to manage the increased inflow. This effort brought the lake perilously close to its 900-foot capacity for the first time in years, but the slowdown of snowmelt and the dry summer have once again led to a decline in water levels. As of 4 p.m. on Tuesday, the lake's elevation stands at 852 feet. According to Raquel Barreo, a spokesperson for the Department of Water Resources, DWR, the peak snowpack runoff occurred in late April when daily inflow averaged around 27,000 cubic feet per second. This week, inflows have been recorded between 2,000 and 3,000 cubic feet per second. While winter is on the horizon, Barreo mentioned that the DWR is preparing for the possibility of another wet winter. The DWR's Water Operations Division closely monitors forecasts to anticipate the impact of incoming storms, and determine whether additional water releases are necessary to accommodate higher estimated inflows. Despite sporadic mild storms breaking up the summer heat, the rainfall has not been substantial enough to significantly affect the declining water level. Currently, the reservoir's outflow is approximately 7,400 cubic feet per second, as stated by Barreo. However, it's essential to note that despite these changing conditions, Lake Oroville is considerably fuller than in previous years. For comparison, on the same day in 2022, the lake's level was a mere 708.79 feet, and in 2021, it was even lower at 631 feet. The good news is that Lake Oroville's boat launches and recreational parks remain open, and the water is still accessible to the public.